Hello everyone. So in today's session, we are going to learn about the file loop. So it is a special type of loop which will perform certain tasks until a condition is fulfilling. And we are also going to perform a experiment in which we will blink some LEDs. So for that, we need some jumper wires, which are male to male. We need a breadboard, Arduino, some multicolor LEDs and resistance of 220 ohms. Okay. So uh, before going to the circuit, let's understand the while loop. Okay. So let me write some code for it. So as you already learned about serial communication, that is the communication between your uh, Arduino and computer. So let's use that. So serial dot begin to turn on the serial monitor. Okay. Now after that in loop, let's say as I have told you that in while loop, that it will perform a specific task until a condition is fulfilling. So for that, let's say I want to count from 1 to 20. Okay. So uh, my task is to count from initial value that is, uh, let's say uh, initially we are starting with 0. So it will be like initially starting with start counting from 0 till 20 so until the condition is fulfilled the condition is that it should be less than 20 and starting with 0 and every time I want to increment the value by 1 so these are the some values that we need for initiating so let's say I use a variable for initiating the value let's name it as count which is initially let's say 0 because we are starting from 0 now we are going to use the while loop so while the condition is true the condition is that is less than 20 so if the count value so count is less than 20 so initially it is 0 so condition is true then if the condition is true what should happen we should print so for printing we will use serial communication serial dot print ln ln stand for line and we want to print the count now after printing the count what should we do we want to increase the value so for increasing it, uh, we have two methods. So the first one is count plus plus or we can do count uh, equals to count plus one. Both are exactly the same. Uh, now, for example, okay, there is one more method by which you can do count uh, plus equals to one. So these are the some methods by which you can write the code. If we are incrementing the value by one, so the first one is perfect because uh, it is easy to understand and easy to write like plus plus now if you are incrementing the value let's say from 5 or 2 then we can use any uh, the second one or the third one so let's use the first one the value will be same if you are incrementing the value by 1 then uh, all the three you can use any one of the three okay after incrementing the value let's say we provide a delay of some time so that we can see the value let's say 200 milliseconds now after that let's say um, we have written the code now let's run it okay. so for running it actually we are communicating with our arduino so now the arduino has, hasn't been connected so what we have to do we have to connect the arduino because we are communicating with it now after connecting the arduino choose your com port in my side i have already selected it so just upload the code after uploading it you will see the com port is showing over there let me show you so it might take some time to upload the code So here you can see that the value is starting from 0 until goes to your 19 because we have written that it should be less than 20. Okay, let me shift it a little bit. Okay. Now you can see it. Okay, If I change the value that is instead of less than I write less than equals to and let's increase some time so that we can easily see it. And if I again run it you will see that the uh, value is now reaching to 20. 
unless previously it is like until zero i have also like increased the time period so that is your delay so that we can easily see it now you can see so after 20 it is again starting from zero so what does the while condition do well, let me explain you one more time we have initialized the condition and we have uh, like initialized a value and we have written a condition that until like if this condition is true we should perform this task and the task is to print the count increment it and provide some delay until we get this 20 value and if we are getting a number which is greater than 20 then this whole condition that we have written will not be executed now what we are going to do we are going to turn on and off some leds or we are going to blink them so for that let's write some uh, connection or do some connection for them so let me unplug it now for that we need some jumper wires leds and a resistance of 220 ohm okay so here we have the components now uh, here we are using let's say use this four color leds that is your white red uh, green and blue so everyone will have two terminals uh, cathode and anode or positive or negative so what i do i let's say plug them this way now let's say i plug them so here i am plugging so here you can see that this one is a positive rail so and uh, the bottom we have this negative one so i am using the negative as the common so i am providing the negative here positive at the bottom like this here you can see being same for the rest of the leds Here is my basic connection which I have just inserted the LEDs. The negative one is common and which has been connected to this negative rail and the positive one is at this area component area. After that I have to do I have to provide the negative supply also. Negative supply should be through this resistance that is a 220 ohm. So I am plugged in this one pin at this negative hole and another say anywhere in this component section okay now let me use some jumper wires to provide the negative supply so to provide the negative supply what we are going to do we are going to give them the ground okay now we have four pins or four leds or color leds so i will use four jumper wires that is your male to male and insert in front of that so this is for white let's say here i am using the pin Next is 6, then I am using 7, eight, and 9. So these are the pins I am using. So let's go to our code and let's define the pin. So pin mode. So pin are my 6. It should be output because it is an LED now it will be let's say copy the code now let's replace the pin number after 6 we have 7 8 9 these are my pins now uh, let's initiate the count by let's say it is initialing by 6 until the value is your 9 so it will be like 6 7 8 9 and what I want to do instead of printing this value, okay, let's also print them. I also want to digital white that is the pin number. The pin number is let's say count, okay. count, comma, high. Then after increasing the value and providing some delay, okay, let's provide the delay first. that is 500 millisecond then after providing the delay we are going to turn off the LED so for turning off the LED low so this is my basic code 
that uh, we have written. Let me upload this code. Oops, I haven't connected the Arduino board. So code has been uploaded. So here you can see that first my this white color is glowing, then this green, then blue, and then red, line by line. Now what I can also do, uh, if I show you the serial communication, you can also see that. Okay, let me show you. Here you can see. So this is my serial communication. Let me resize it. You can see the number here that what number are getting here so like it is six seven eight nine then again six seven eight nine now let's uh, what we can do let's increase the or oh, let's reduce the time interval let's instead of 50 let's make it 100 let me upload it. You will see that the LEDs are blinking very fast in this. Here you can see. And in the COM port, you can also see that the values are uh, repeating very fast. So until a value is reached, what we have to do? We have to like increase the count value starting with 6, 7, 8, 9. And if the condition is true, that is, it is less than or equals to 9, we have to perform the task that is serial monitor print count and then digital write high and then provide a delay and then make it low and shift to next value. Okay. Then see you in the next session.